So I'm back out digging again this morning. Have some friends with me, Natanelle and Soren. And I just found something almost right on top of the ground. I put the shovel in, barely pried it back, it just popped right out. You see that? It's a quarter. And at first, I thought it was just a modern one. But it's silver. 1945. That is unbelievable. I mean, we have literally been here five minutes. Let's go find some more. So Netanel's coming over here, still in my spot. He's working up on me. <laughs> Just kidding. But he's got a good signal in the 80s, right up under that bush. I hope it's silver. He's already found an Indian head this morning. Like, literally, we walked out, and first signal of the day was an Indian head penny. So yeah. this is a good sight. So he just got it out. Oh, nice. It was way down under the root. I thought it was going to be trash. It is a very old coin. What is it? Oh, please be a half cent. It's a half cent. No, it's a half cent. Yeah. Oh, man, that is awesome. See if you can get a year off of it. I should have detected back here. I didn't even Yeah. I barely, I was right under, wait, United States of America, or it's a two center. I'm pretty sure it's a two center. It looks like a two cent piece. Yeah. Here, let's just close up. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, neat. I believe that is a two cent piece. Yeah, it's got to be a two cent. Yeah, it's the right it's size the for States one. America. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Take it's one. a two cent piece. Man, that is unbelievable. So there it is. 1865 two cent piece. We're going to get back to digging. And if we find anything else, we'll let you know. I just rechecked the area where I found the silver quarter. I have another coin. It's right down there. I believe it's a wheat penny. Pretty sure. Yeah, it's gotta be. I just got another good signal down here. It was showing up in the 80s, but it was a little bit choppy, so I figured it was gonna be something iron. Turns out it's not iron at all. There's probably nails in there, but you can see it on the side wall of the hole. A silver edge to a coin. Might be a Merc or it could be something older. Let's see what we have here. Oh, it's a rosy dime, 1950 something. Hey, that's better than nothing. Always nice when you can find silver. 1952. Awesome. Having a great day. Let's go get some more. This is pretty funny. I was walking over this way to search under this tree, and I got a signal showing up right at 80. Very shallow, too. And it's another silver. Isn't that just crazy? It's a rosy dime. 1951. Wow. The other one was 52. Third silver of the day. We've only been out here about two hours. I'll definitely take it. Soren did this. Soren's got a signal here showing up as a 90 to 91. That's usually half dollar range, so. Let's see what he has. I'm pretty sure it's going to be silver. It just sounds really good. Here. Where's it at? It's in the hole. 95 now. Wow. Right under the root. That's a good sign. He's using the Ace 400. That thing's a silver finder, too. Ooh, good depth. Oh, yeah. It's great right depth. Don't use, no, no, you're going to get your hand. Oh, oh, it's a copper. copper. Large scent, large scent. Man, oh, that is that. crazy. Look at that here, let me. About three inches yeah. deep. No, no, let, oh, man. Nice. It's a large scent. Largey. It sure a, is. Uh, um, oh, it's a, a beautiful oh, shape. Wow. wow. Oh, What's the no. date on it, man? 1853. Oh, congratulations. Thank you. Let me get a close-up real quick. Dude, Hold you now out. have every large end, including the Liberty Cap and the Drape Bus. That is amazing. Wow. What a beauty. Here, can I get it close? Yeah. Wow. And you just never know. Guys. You have to dig everything that beeps. That's amazing. <laughs> Good job, Soren. Thank you. Dude. Let's go get some more. <laughs> oh, yeah. That right there is beautiful. Oh, yeah. That came out nice. Flip it over. 1853. 
That's not the best back, but it's pretty. Good. Yeah, you can see one cent on the back, barely showing. I just got onto a coin spill here. Ended up finding five wheat pennies and a buffalo nickel out of the same hole. It gave one big signal, a solid 70. But once I got everything out, I was getting multiple signals. Most of these are from the early 20s. This one's 1925. That one looks like 1919. 1920. So they're pretty early. That one's a 16. And Soren's here, Barber Dime, right? His there first Barber Dime ever. Yeah. Night camp through here before. Man, congratulations. You guys are up on my that's Is there a awesome. year on it? Yeah, 1908. 1908. I want to rub it. Oh, it's yeah. awesome. Oh, it's in beautiful right shape. Off. There you have it. That's awesome, that now. And there's more in the hole. It was yeah. like a nickel signal on a oh, high wow. cone right yeah. next to each other. You never know. It could be a V-nickel in there, too. Just got a nice colonial flat button. Showed up as a 65. Soren's found him a silver now. I think it's a video oh, yeah. as well. What is it? It's a mercury dime. Ooh, that's oh, nice. Dime. I'm going to spray that. I don't yeah. It's in good condition. Probably from the 40s. I'm guessing 45. Right near the driveway. Yeah, look at this. How many inches? Nice. 1943, I think you're right. I can't tell exactly, but something ends in three. That's nice. So right here in this hole, I dug an old umbrella piece. I rechecked it, got another signal showing up in the 60s, right around 65. Dug down, and there it is. It's an Indian head penny. It looks like an early one too. Let's see. I think it's 1859. It sure is. That's the first year they made them. Wow. It would have been a large cent if it was 1858. That is so cool. It's in great condition too. All right, we're gonna keep searching around here. If we find anything else, we'll let you know. So these are all of our finds for about three hours of digging this morning. We did really well. I'm actually surprised. I'll start out with Soren's finds. We found an 1853 large scent. It's in beautiful shape. A 1943 mercury dime, two wheat pennies. Netanel got a couple things as well. A two cent piece from 1865, two Indian heads, and a 1908 barber dime. That is awesome. Looks brand new. There's also a toe tap. Here's my finds. Got old rusty hoe. Spoon bowl, a lighter, some type of modern Wolverine pin or brooch, pocket watch part, piece two old umbrella, ten wheat pennies, got three silvers, a 1945 silver quarter, a 51 Roosevelt dime, and a 52, 1859 Indian head. It's a beauty. And also got a buffalo nickel. So overall, it was a really great hunt. I'm looking forward to getting out later today and seeing what else we can find. So stay tuned. There will be more.